Oh boy. That's a big old hill. Look at this thing. Wow. It's a heck of a slope. This ball's way above my feet. You know, the announcers on TV say, well, this ball's going to hook. Bet not. If you follow these simple rules. Let's call it the law of the crazy lie. Now, it's a law in my book. It's not a policy, and it's not a suggestion, and it's not a rule. It's a law, procedurally, right? So, step one, to make this ball go straight, I'm going to aim it at that, that bunker out there at the end of the fairway, not the two over there, but the one at the end. Step one, set the club face on the ground right behind the ball, pointing exactly where you want that ball to start flying. Don't grip it yet. Step two, get a little closer. Why? Because I want my swing to go more up to down. And because if I went farther back, not only does the handle lower and the face starts tilting and pointing left, but my swing goes more around the body when that happens. And I'm not interested in that. So again, club face back on the ground, right where I want my ball to start flying. I'm going to get close and let my arms just hang straight down. So effectively, I wound up gripping down on the club. But that's not really not the purpose. The purpose was really I want my swing going more up to down and straight down the target line. So I'm balanced, perfectly stable on the slope, drop my arms straight down, then put my grip on. Now I'm ready to go. So there's a ball flying right where it was set up to because the hill didn't make my ball do anything like the announcers will tell you on TV. The only thing that's making the ball do anything is that club face right there and the swing direction. And I had the club face pointed where I wanted. I was swinging in the same place. That ball's going to behave. So let's make sure that you can truly control your golf ball on these off lies because you followed a simple procedure. Step one, put the face on the ground behind the ball right where you want it to start to fly. Step two, get a little closer. Get stable to the hill. Drop your arms. Step three, put your hands on the club. Step four, give it a rip.